Hi, I'm Kenneth, and this is Common Hawthorne. Welcome, or welcome back. It's been a while since I've made a video. This is a ship's log for May 21st, 2022. A lot to catch up on. I have a new job. It was before my last video, but I don't think I mentioned it. Instead of being an editor, I'm now an office administrator, still for the Unitarian Universalists, but now for a local congregation. And part of the timing of this video is to say that tomorrow I'm going to be the guest preacher at the congregation that I serve in an administrative capacity, and I'm excited about that. And I will put a link in the box below when that is um, live. It's a we stream to YouTube and then post it afterwards. Other things, new tattoo, a sword to match the wand. Uh, clearly I, I have two more suits to go and I don't know when I'll do that, but this felt like a time when I was cutting loose from some of the past. I wanted to talk about something that I've been doing this year mostly faithfully and that uh, has been interesting. I've been drawing two cards every morning and writing them in a little calendar, uh, a little uh, you know, pocket diary. And I periodically switch decks and that's not something I've often done in the past. And it's interesting because I can tell very quickly whether I like the deck or not, even though I'm not, my commitment to myself is just to draw the two cards and just to write them down. So there are ways in which that's unsatisfying. I'd actually like to be dealing with them in more depth, but it's unrealistic to think that I'm going to do a big reading every day. So I'm just doing that. So it's revealing to me some decks that I like better than others. But also, I've tried some decks, I've included some Oracle decks, and some of them work well in pairs, and some of them definitely do not. So I might do a video at some point about Oracle decks that can work in multiples and Oracle decks that are really one, you know, one card at a time. And the last thing that I'll mention today, that because I've been thinking about doing it for a while, is that I have several new decks. and. One is kind of strange, and I got it because of Justin Michael's channel. I think it was Justin Michael. Ship of Fools Tarot. It's a mass market, out of print. It comes in a very strange box. It's like a big guidebook, and then the cards are kind of loose in a little thing where they'll slip down, and the cards are very slick. But I'll try to show you. This is the backs. They're monochrome decks, uh, which is part of what I kind of liked about them. And they have this um, line drawing. And there are fools interspersed throughout. It's called Ship of Fools. And uh, it's kind of a novelty deck, but I think that it, it reads as well. And the book goes into quite a... The, the, the book is a good addition. And this deck is the one that made me realize that there is a category of tarot decks that I think of as ye oldie, <laughs> like ye oldie candy shoppy, um, that have, it's not actually old art, but that's what it's trying to do. And there's several different ways that that decks accomplish that. And so I might do a video about that sometime. And then from Kickstarter, I got the Lost Tarot, which you may have seen. And I like the shape of it. It has the, this is the, the backs are plain, not actually reversible, but I don't, I don't care about that. And, um, you know, different shape. They're, they're taller than a typical tarot card. So I like that aspect ratio. And there's some, a couple of extra cards. And then they're kind of, they're photographic fantasies. Uh, so the, the artist has 
the world in mind and has done the, the photographs. And I'd like to do a, I haven't used them yet, but I'd like to do a flip through with the Somnia Tarot to compare them because they're both decks where some, uh, you know, a contemporary creator created every image photographically. Uh, this one has some photo manipulation. I think the Somnia Tarot doesn't. I'm not positive about that. But anyway, they're, I think they're interesting contemporaries of one another. And finally, I got the Woodland Wardens, which is a mass market deck. And I got it because I love this artist's artwork. And it's got a little, you know, a little booklet. And the card, the, the back... The cards combine an animal or fish or bird and a plant and has an identification and then a, then a, a keyword. And the book is, the little white book is definitely worth referring to because there are some very interesting spins that she has put on some of the keywords. And I'm, I'm finding that I really like this deck quite a lot. So that's it. Just a little bit of catch up. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you come back again. Bye.